welcome back to Las Vegas for our coverage of the Gamma Trade Show 2016. I'm Eric Summerer here with Scott from WizKids, and we've got three games I'm, I'm quite excited about. Uh, two Turtles, one Star Trek, where do we start? Well, uh, these, this is a selection of items that we're showing off here at the, uh, the uh, Gamma Trade Show. And uh, there has been a lot of hype. We're going to start with Turtles. Let's start hey, with we're going to start with Turtles. We're going to start with Turtles. It, it, there's been a lot of hype here about uh, um, Turtles. We're very happy to work with Nickelodeon to be able to bring Turtles to not only uh, Hero Clicks, but also Dice Masters as well. Um, so I'll just jump right in and kind of yeah. give you a little description of, uh, of what we're looking at here. Let's do Hero Clicks. First thing that's going to come out here is going to be the Hero Clicks. Uh, this is a starter and scenario uh, game uh, called Mouser Mayhem. So this does function as a starter set for Heroclix. It has a core rule book. It's got the four turtles uh, that, you can, uh, that you can play. Um, it's got uh, object tokens uh, and, and a map uh, that we don't have the map out here right now. Right. It'll be a little too big to uh, lay out on the table. Um, but it also has some scenario gameplay. Uh, that goes along with it, as well as a sort of truncated rules system that really just focuses on what you're going to encounter in this box. So there is the core rule book, so players who are interested okay. in learning the entirety of the game of Hero Clicks can check out the core rule book. But in the scenario rule book and in that truncated rule system, it's it, not a new system. It's just in that truncated rule set. Right. It just focuses on what you will what you will see in this in box. This, almost an intro set for exactly. Hero Clicks. Exactly. It's general. a perfect uh, starter, uh, introductory starter for new players coming into the game, um, and of course for any players that play the game <laughs> that want to get turtles. Yes. Um, and the uh, the scenario games are also uh, there's three different scenario games. One is a turtle training, which is based basically the turtles fighting against each other. Ah, okay. um, so you can play that as four players. Each player takes turtle or, or two teams of two or what right. have you. Um, there is a uh, two scenario games. One is called uh, Save Splinter, which is basically like a tower defense game where mm. we have these mouser tokens. And uh, there's a splinter token and you're playing as the turtles and you have to defend splinter for a certain number of rounds as these mousers are just spawning and coming at you. Right. And you have to, you have to fight them off. And then there's one that's called uh, Rescue April, and Baxter Stockman has kidnapped April. Okay. And you have to explore the map and find the entrance to his secret lair, and then it goes into sort of like a boss fight, if you will, where okay. you have to you have to fight Baxter to, to release April. Of course, the mousers are abound during the whole time trying to stop you from doing that. Right. Um, so again, great uh, entry uh, point for anyone who's interested in learning about Hero Clicks. And uh, our first uh, foray into looking into seeing Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, we will also have along with this single figure booster packs that do explore a lot more into the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles characters, not only from comics, uh, but also uh, television, different television series as hmm. well. Um, so we're very excited to see see Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles finally in Hero Clicks. So Hero Clicks minis are all well and good, but what if I want my turtles represented by dice? Oh, by dice. Well, then we're going to move right over here to uh, Dice Masters. Mm -hmm. This comes out in the uh, in the following month. This will come out in May. Uh, the Hero Clicks starts uh, in uh, April, and in uh, in May we have the uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles Dice Masters set. Now, one thing that I am going to point out about this uh, compared to other Dice Master sets where we've had a starter set and, and booster boosters. packs, yeah. this is one inclusive purchase. This gotcha. is a full box set. So it's actually very similar to when we released Quarriers, right. um, that you could buy the, the, uh, the box and it had everything included. Right. That's going to be uh, what we're doing for this Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles set. And it works uh, just as um, any other Dice Master set that it's a great two-player game. But we also have rules in here to be able to play it with four players as well. I saw four well. draw so bags four, yeah, over here. Four, four, four draw bags mats. and four player mats that are okay. included in this. So you can play this as a two or, two or four player game as well. Excellent. So we're very excited. And again, this reaches into uh, um, uh, uh, turtles from different universes, uh, comics, uh, and television. 80s and TV, television, animated series. Oh, absolutely. We've got uh, how many cards are here? in the box? Um, there is, I actually don't, there, I know there's 92, uh, 92 dice, um, 
and there's uh, 62 cards, but I'm not sure the breakdown in terms of how many how character, many of each actually, character, character type. Actually, I can, we're I can cheat at. a little bit here <laughs> and look at the uh, uh, 48 character cards. So three versions of uh, 15 different characters. Okay. And uh, last but not least. A new Star Trek game. A new Star Trek game. So this is Star Trek Frontiers, um, and this is going to be coming out in June. And this is uh, uses the the Venture Tile system, which was premiered with the Mage Knight board game. Okay. And uh, this obviously takes place in space, mm -hmm. um, and you are fighting uh, using either the the Federation or Klingon ships. We got an Enterprise and D here. <coughs> There's a Defiant, Warbird. Yep. Uh, bird of prey, yep. and, uh, and, and you uh, eventually will come across uh, these nasty little cubes here. We don't want uh, those guys. Yeah, uh, and they have uh, assimilated uh, different races through the galaxy, so they've they have uh, their own fighting forces that go along with them. Um, and you'll also be encountering different uh, uh, types of planets, nebula, and other space anomalies and things throughout. In terms of uh, the rule system, it's, it's similar to Mage Knight. However, there are some uh, areas that have been streamlined in the rules. Um, so as an example, uh, there is no, um, this tells you your movement costs, and you'll see there's no flip side to it. Right. There's no night there's and no day, day function phase. because, you know, yeah. space. <laughs> yeah. Yes, it's space. <laughs> So, um, so there's some things that have been uh, streamlined, okay. uh, but then there's some other things in terms of uh, uh, flavor of, of the Star Trek universe that have been added to the game. So if, if you've played Mage Knight, I will say that you are uh, 60 to 70 percent up the learning curve. Mm -hmm. uh, some of that learning curve is just going to be, there's going to be some equivalent um, uh, terminology that, you know, oh, okay, this, this term in, in this game means this in, in right. Mage Knight, but, uh, but it really... Um, we've taken the, the basic game engine uh, and really tailored it to the, the Star Trek universe uh, to be able to explore the different uh, characters that you'll be able to, uh, that you know and love from the, from the television series that you'll be able to recruit onto your crew um, and, uh, and travel the universe and explore the universe. So we're very excited. This is uh, 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 based off of, uh, obviously, the game engine from Vlada Shvatil. Yeah. Um, and we worked with uh, Andrew Parks, yes. uh, who, has, uh, who has really mapped on the, uh, the Star Trek uh, universe onto the, onto the Venture Tile system. Very nice. Anything else you want to talk about? These are three very exciting things to talk about. The other thing I wanted to mention, um, we did uh, make a big announcement here at uh, the Gamma Trade Show that we are, uh, WizKids is going to be doing an unpainted miniatures line. So hmm. I brought a couple of those here. That's what uh, these they guys are, going are. To be, wondering. They are going to be um, plastic miniatures that are um, come out of the package, uh, fully assembled. They have really deep cut detail to them. So it's very uh, uh, friendly for painters, especially even new painters, mm -hmm. uh, that you don't lose that detail when you put the coated paint on. They are gonna be pre-primed uh, from uh, Vallejo pa uh, paints. Oh. So you can just pop them right out of the package and ready to paint. We're gonna be doing all the iconic character classes. We are going to have a near even split of male and female characters oh, for those classes okay. because um, oftentimes it's, it's hard to find a female version of a character. Right. Um, and uh, we are also going to be offering uh, multi-packs that are low and high level versions of characters. So if you're playing and you have you start off a campaign right. and eventually you can sort of upgrade your... You don't want your, your super paladin to look like he's still level one. Exactly. Okay. So you, you'll be able to buy a multi-pack that'll have a, a low and high, ver high level yeah. version. So you'll be ready to go once you've reached those uh, those higher levels. And are, are these more of a catch-all fantasy universe or is this, this a is gonna, we are We are working with, uh, with uh, Wizards of Coast, Dungeons and Dragons okay. and Pathfinder as oh, well excellent. Uh, for, uh, for making these characters. And we're going to be hitting all of uh, the iconic uh, monsters and we'll have multi-packs so you can get like a goblin pack with a, a number of different goblins with different weapons and poses and things. Um, uh, as I said, the character classes, we'll even be doing uh, objects and sort of mm. uh, uh, dungeon dressings, if you will, of- uh, Mimics. Of, uh, yeah. Things like yeah, or even just standard uh, barrels and right. crates and okay. things like that that uh, that you can paint up to to sort of decorate your your miniatures table uh, for your role playing games. Scott, thank you very much. Hey, thank you. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for watching.
Thank you.